Hey guys, my name is Firefighter Josh. Have you guys ever seen inside a fire truck before? If not, I'm gonna take you for a quick look at all the different tools and gadgets we have here. If you guys wanna come inside, I'll show you my driver's spot. Welcome to the driver's seat. I'm the driver for the day, so this is where I'll be sitting all shift, making sure that we get back and forth to the call safely. As you guys can see in front of me, we have our steering wheel and our gas and brake pedals below. Right here you can see we got our fancy screen with all of our tools and buttons that we need to press. Over here we have our sirens. We have our sirens, our big loud horn that you guys hear sometimes, and a different set of sirens. Over here you guys can see we have our radio, and this makes sure that we can talk to all of our other trucks so that we know what's going on and we can hear lots of updates going to the call. Right here you guys can see we have our iPad, and our iPad, just like the one you guys have at home, it helps us go to calls and we can see on maps exactly where we're going so we can get there as fast as possible. Over here is where my captain sits. So my captain is just like our boss. He tells us what we have to do every single day, where we're going, and he's the boss of the call. So now we're going to go into the back seat and Amanda's going to take you through the back seat. Hi guys, my name is Firefighter Amanda and today I'm in the back seat. So I'm going to show you some stuff that we keep in the cab. So first thing, this is where all of our medical equipment is kept, so when you guys get cuts or anything, we have all of our band-aids ready to help you. The next thing that we have in the cab here is our radios. So just like you guys have radios to talk to your friends, we all have our own radios, so when we're at a fire, we can all talk to each other. Another thing that we have in the back here, just like you guys have at home, are our flashlights. So we use these just so we can see inside a house, smoke, or when it's dark outside when we're on a scene. We keep them here and they're always charging so they're ready to go. So this is where I sit. Here, just like you guys have your backpacks, we have our own special backpacks too. So in our backpacks, we have our cylinder of air. This lets us go into fires so we're not breathing any smoke. They're kept in here all shift until we need them. Our helmets are one of the most important parts of our gear and those are kept up top here. We make sure that they go in properly so that they're not moving around in the cab. Just like you guys have in your cars, we have our seatbelt. So on a way to a call, we always make sure that we're belted in and safely secured and ready to go. So now that we've seen the inside of the truck, we're gonna go join firefighter Josh and he's gonna show you the outside. So our fire trucks are like big red toolboxes. Behind every door, we've got lots of different tools. And all these different tools are what I'm going to show you right now. So this is our pump panel. As the driver of the truck today, my job is to make sure my firefighters get lots of water coming out of their hose so that we can put out lots of fires if we need to. All of these are just like the faucets at your house, where you open the tap and water comes pouring out. All of them are color matched as well. So we have lots of different colors on the pump. That way I know which color I need to send water to. You can see we've got lots of fire hose. This truck carries a ton of fire hose and I'm gonna show you guys all the different spots that it carries it. Lots of different levers, lots of different gauges, all to make sure we can pump a little bit of water or a whole lot of water. I'll show you guys the next cabinet now. this next cabinet is more tools again. So we've got different parts where we can put two hoses that go into one, or we've got these fancy little things here. Do you guys know what these are? Any guesses? There are pylons. So we have lots of different pylons. We have about six on this truck, and we keep them all squished together so that we can have lots of space. If they were all like this, we'd have a lot of trouble putting them in the truck. And what's this? Some more fire hose. We got more fire hose in this cabinet and more in some other cabinets. And in this big black box is another toolbox. So we have toolboxes and toolboxes, a ton of different tools on this truck. Coming to our next cabinet, we have even more tools. Does this tool look familiar to anybody? Does it remind you of a hammer? We also have this tool over here just like a big axe, but even smaller. It's called our mini pry axe. I'll open up these doors so you guys can see as well. 
So we have lots of different doors, so we can hide tools behind some of the doors as well. And over here, if you guys watched the previous video, you'll see that we have our air cylinders. Our air cylinders hold up all of our fresh air, so we have some on this side of the truck and some on the other side of the truck as well. Over here is one of my favorite compartments on the truck. This is the compartment we use for any car accidents. So sometimes we need to be able to cut cars or lift cars. We can use everything in this compartment to do it. So these are called our cutters and our spreaders. Our cutters are just like a big pair of scissors where they're gonna cut a piece of metal. They squeeze it just like you're cutting a piece of paper when you're doing arts and crafts. Our spreaders, they lift things. They can spread things apart so that we're able to get more space in what we're trying to get to. If you guys want to follow me, we'll go to the back side of the truck here. We have lots of different ladders on the truck. And up here, you guys can see, we have lots of fire hose. We have even more fire hose up here so that we can pull lots of hose out of fire if we need to. And in this cabinet, we have some more tools. What do you guys think is behind this door here? Any guesses? We have our ladders. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you. We have lots of ladders on our fire truck and they're all hidden within the truck. So we have some small ladders, we have some really big ladders like this one, in case we ever need to rescue anybody. Right here we call our cribbing. And it's just like little bricks of Lego. We stack them up on each other so that we can put them under a car so the car stays nice and stable. And just like your toys, they're pretty much Lego for us. I'll let you guys head over now, over to Amanda, and Amanda's gonna take you through the other side of the truck. Hey guys, so I'm gonna take you on the right side of the truck. So in this compartment, as you can see, we have another ladder up top, all these actually slide out so we can access even more tools. We have different tools on this side, like you guys have at your house, shovels and brooms. On the other side, we have more cylinders. So we have three cylinders here, and we'll have another three cylinders on this side as well. So up here is where we keep all of our fire hose. I know you guys are thinking, how much hose can we actually have on this truck? But we have so much hose. So all of these hoses are used for when we go to an apartment. So if you guys live in any apartment buildings, these are the hoses that we bring up to help you guys out. What we also have on this truck is an axe. And I'm sure you guys have seen axes before. We keep our axes and our halogen together so we can put it on our shoulder and carry it up, up uh, the up flight of stairs a lot easier. So as you can see in our next compartment, we have another axe. Also useful when we have to gain entry into a house. In this compartment, we have our fire extinguishers. You guys have these at your houses and at your schools as well. And we have them on our trucks too. Here we have two different kinds of saws. We have our chainsaw and our quick cut saws. These are used if we have to gain access anywhere to cut any metals or any trees down. Here we have lights, like you guys have at your house, so when it's dark on scene, we hit the lights and we light up the whole scene so we can see everything. In the next compartment here, we have even more taps for different water sources. Here is where we hook up our hydrants that you guys see outside. We hook them up to here so that our truck has endless amounts of water. And right here we have even more hoses. So these hoses are pulled out when we have to go into fires or anything. You can pull them out from both sides. In the last compartment here, 
I know what you're thinking. Hoses, even more. So we use these if we have to extend any lengths or use it for different situations. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all the different tools on our truck. And as a final little treat for you guys, if you guys want, I can turn on all the lights on the fire truck so we can see how bright it is. Give me one second. You guys ready to turn on the lights? Here we go. Bye guys. Bye.